If we can, in some way, offer enough words, words don't teach, and analogies, words don't teach, and conversation, words don't teach. We've enjoyed this interaction in this. <laughs> that if we can offer enough that will to stimulate within you the awareness that your point of attraction is everything because you are the center of your universe and that you are the perceiver of it which means you are the vibrational interpreter of it you translate your vibration into the reality that you are living into what you're seeing and hearing and smelling and tasting and touching if we can convince you that since all those things are true that the only thing that matters to you is how you feel if we if you can leave this room with a new determination within you that you now more than ever before care about how you feel and mean to do something about soothing yourself Esther was on an airplane last week going from Boston back to San Antonio and there was a beautiful family sitting in front of her a mother and a child about six years old and two little twin boys who were about two maybe if even they were walking sort of kind of talking and they were all strapped into their four seats and Esther was sitting right behind the mother and when the airplane took off one of the little boys across the aisle from his mother was terrified it was probably his first flight and the roar of the engine the sound of the machine the feeling of it on the runway he was hysterical and he wasn't spoiled he was hysterical he was frightened it was a new experience and the power of the airplane scared him his mother and the flight attendants looking right at his mother like <laughs> do not get out of your seat do not get out of your seat and Esther is thinking if I were that mother I would be out of my seat now so the airplane got in the air and once it was stable long after Esther thought it was stable the flight attendant gave her the knowing nod like now now that your child is out of oxygen <laughs> So now mother moved over into his seat and held him tight in her arms just tight in her arms kissing the back of his head and holding him tight in her arms and gradually he settled down back into his knowing that all was well and Esther watched that and she said to her friend sitting next to her I want to do that with everyone on the planet I want them to sit on my lap and I want to hold them in my arms and I want to say it's okay it's okay everything's okay everything's okay everything's okay she wants to do it to herself she wants to soothe herself into a point of attraction that allows her what she wants and deserves she wants you to be soothed into a point of attraction that allows you what you want and deserve because that is the only missing factor how you feel how you feel if you're terrified if you're angry if you're resentful if you're depressed if you're aggravated if you're overwhelmed those negative emotions are you beating up on you now you don't it doesn't feel like that to you it feels like somebody else is doing it Esther was pretty mad for a minute at the flight attendant who was just doing her job but it made Esther want with everything that she is to just make sure that she takes care of feeling good in other words someone asked us the best question that has ever been asked a few weeks ago and the question was Abraham how do you get rid of doubt and we said you get rid of it before it starts which was so annoying <laughs> because when you're in the middle of it that question that answer doesn't apply how do I get rid of it before it starts when I've already got it and we say well eventually you're gonna sleep and you're gonna get up tomorrow and tomorrow you're gonna soothe yourself better so that doubt never gets started doubt will never get a foothold if you're watching what you're doing so Esther began applying that to herself she woke up every morning 
with a determination that she was going to find a good feeling place and that she was going to maintain it as long as she could. And she, for the first, the first day, she didn't even get out of bed before it was too late. <laughs> the second day, it was better. The third day, she didn't make it through breakfast. In other words, it took quite a while of Esther caring more about how she felt than tending to emails, caring more about how she felt than tending to what was going on with other people. In other words, you've got to put yourself first. You've got to be so selfish. You have to care about how you feel, which means you have to tend to the self that you really are. You've got to find a way of closing that gap between who you're being right now and who you really are and who you really are loves you so much adores you appreciates everything that you are flows constantly to you assisting you in every possible way last week Esther came bouncing up the steps and the step wasn't stable when she stepped on it it caved in and her foot went between the step and the stage scraped up her shin she stumbled onto the stage it was funny <laughs> It was, it was really funny. And Esther thought, for the life of me, I do not know how I went down. So Esther has a dear friend who sees energy. She always comes to the seminars in the city where she lives and sits in the back of the room because she not only likes to see the energy around Abraham, she liked to see the energy around Jerry when he was sitting at the table and the energy around you. She could see, she could actually see who was all lighted up. She knows who Abraham is likely to call on because she can read this energy. So after every workshop, she watches all of the live streams. She sends Esther an email and she says, yeah, Jerry walked on the stage with you. And Esther says, yeah, I know. I can feel him there. And then she said, he caught you last week. And Esther thought, that's why I didn't fall down didn't make sense to me I didn't have my balance I didn't have anything close to my balance but I didn't go down this is the thing that we want you to understand we've got you but if you're not knowing that if you're mad at yourself then you don't let us get you you prevent yourself from receiving the inspiration do you know when you yawn that's because you need more oxygen and we yawn you <laughs> all of you are receivers you see how often are you in traffic and you know to do something that prevents something that how many things do you prevent that you don't even know you prevent so many because you're receiving constant impulses you are so blessed you are so tended to we are so aware of you and you are so in your own way so much of the time as you're complaining about this and worrying about that watching CNN <laughs> so we want you to know that you are the focal point of so much awareness and that when you ask for something we all know it and we see clearly the path for you to move from where you are to where you want to be and you know what you want it to be a direct path we don't we want you to have fun along the way to the path we want you to pick up more things along your physical trail along the path we want you to gain more clarity along the path we want you to continue to feel your vortex full of more things that you want along the path because you know why it's a very long path you know why it's a path of eternity so you keep being in such a hurry to get over there I really want to be over there I'm not happy over here <laughs> then you're not ever gonna get over there can't get over there if it can't get there from here if you're unhappy over here about what's over there that you don't have over here you can't get over there so what we want you to understand is that it's never about getting over there it's about preparing over here so that over there can come over here where you are do you get that because this is about law of attraction this isn't about law of assertion it's not law of getting things done it's not the law of pro proving worthiness it's the law of attraction it's about you finding some way to think some sort of thought to get on to hold yourself on your own lap and soothe yourself I am a good person and I am doing well and all is really well and it's getting better and I am figuring this out and things are going my way and I'm getting clearer every day and I'm having fun in the process of doing this 
and I'm understanding the creative process and I know that this is a universe based upon attraction and I know about vibration and I know what I'm doing with vibration I'm getting better at it every day and there's evidence every day that lets me know that as you soothe yourself as you do something about tending to your point of attraction which is all that matters because everything else is already done you see it's like sometimes we'll just give you a sort of analogy you've asked for it and you're summoning it but you've got your shield up your cloaking device you've got your umbrella up old style you've got your umbrella up and everything that you want is flying to you but you're deflecting it with your habits of thought with your bogus ridiculous habits of thought like unworthiness or unreadiness or not in the right place or or being mad at somebody else so we're eager to talk with you about whatever is important to you nothing is off limits you will notice a perfect unfolding in the way this all comes together we are collective consciousness this combination of beings has never been before and to all of the universe there are far 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 more of us than the seven or eight hundred of you that are in this room and the other thousands that are around the planet watching this there are more of us participating with you here than you have the ability to comprehend everyone who has ever been is interested in what's going on here today so let's have some fun